Hello everyone, my name is Siddharth Sathidharan and I am a member of the Hardware PM team at F5. Today I'll be talking to you about F5's next generation R series hardware platforms. In this series, I'll introduce the R series platforms and the F5 OS A software that runs on the R series platforms. Use the setup wizard to configure base level settings on an R series appliance and go over steps to configure system and network level settings at the F5 OS layer. Finally, I'll deploy a TMOS tenant on an R series appliance. So let's jump right in. The R series is F5's next generation appliance based solution that replaces the current I series platforms. R series platforms have many advantages over the current I series architecture. A major difference is the introduction of a new Kubernetes based platform layer called F5 OS that allows for some exciting new capabilities. F5 OS leverages a microservices architecture with an underlying Kubernetes framework for management that is abstracted from the administrator. The platform layer includes basic system and network settings as well as licensing. The R series has more modern FPGAs and CPUs to help provide hardware acceleration and more advanced crypto offload capabilities. It is important to note that the R series appliances are multi-tenant by default. The new F5 OS platform layer allows R series to run different types of tenants within the same appliance. A tenant is conceptually similar to a VCMP guest running on the Vibrion or i-series platforms. Currently, the R-series will, will be able to run TMOS or Big IP tenants. There is planned future support to run next generation Big IP next tenants. Each TMOS tenant will run as a virtual machine via a technology called KubeWord which allows virtual machines to run on top of a containerized architecture. In the future, when next generation Big IP Next tenants are supported on R series, those tenants will run in their native containerized mode and not run as AVM. They will be able to run side by side on the same appliance. The R series appliances come with a fully automatable F5 OS API and automation toolchain. Tenants running on F5 OS can be managed just as they were on previous platforms. The R series appliances come in four major variants the R10,000, the R5000, the R4000, and R2000 models. The high end R10,000 model and the mid range. R5000 models have extensive FPGA support. The R4000 and R2000 models do not include FPGAs for hardware offload and instead perform these functions in software with some specialized offload. As an appliance, the F5 R series systems do not have system controllers and blades. Consequently, there is no concept of chassis and partition in an F5 R series system. After your R series appliance is physically installed and powered on in your data center, you'll access the CLI of the system and run the setup wizard to perform basic configuration. For initial configuration and setup, You'll need to connect to the system using a console server or management console to obtain terminal access. The R series ships with default admin and root accounts. Before we can access the R series appliance setup wizard, the first step is to change the default admin and root password. So let's go ahead and connect to the console server. Let's first change the 
admin password. The default password for the admin account is admin and the default password for the root account is default. Login as admin. You will be prompted to change the admin password. So go ahead and re enter the current admin password. Enter your new admin password. Re enter the new admin password. As you can see, you've successfully changed the admin password. Let's now log out. and log in as root. Now that you've changed the admin password, the default password for the root account is temporarily set to the uh, admin password that we just configured. So go ahead and enter that. Enter your new root password. And there you go. You've now successfully changed both your root and admin passwords. We are now ready to go ahead and run the appliance setup wizard. The setup wizard is available to assist you in setting up basic management networking on an R series system. You can choose to enable DHCP and have your IP addresses configured automatically or disable DHCP and manually configure your IP address. You need to be logged in as root in order to be able to run the appliance setup wizard. So let's go ahead and run the appliance setup wizard. To do so, log in as root and run type in appliance hyphen setup hyphen wizard. Hit enter. For the purpose of this demo, we are going to disable DHCP and configure management IP and other network settings manually. So let's go ahead and answer no to enabling DHCP. Let's answer yes to configuring IPv4 management networking. I have my IPs listed out here, which I'm going to be using to configure my R series appliance. So the management IP is 10.144.140.60. Hit enter. The gateway IP address is 10.144.140.254. We're going to be using a prefix of 24. For today's demo, we're not going to be configuring IPv6 management networking, so we'll answer no to this question. And yes, we would like to configure a DNS server. The DNS server has an IP address of 10.192.50.10 and is listening on port 53. We're also going to configure a NTP server, so we'll answer yes. The NTP server address is 192.168.180.15. It's also listening on the default port. And yes, we would like to commit the uh, configuration. In order to commit the configuration, you'll need to enter the admin login username. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, our changes are being committed and we've successfully run our setup wizard. It's important to note that appliance mode is enabled by default. Now that we've successfully run the appliance setup wizard and configured management IPv4 addresses and DNS and NTP settings. 
we can use the management IPv4 address to access the R series appliances CLI, API, or UI. So let's go ahead and log in to the R series via the uh, management IPv4 address. So log in as admin. into the admin password. Let's go ahead and ensure that the um, settings that we configured via the appliance wizard are successfully committed. The command to do that is show system MGMT hyphen IP, hit enter. As you can see, the IPv4 address are, is successfully um, committed and saved. You can also access the UI using the uh, management IPv4 address that we just configured. I'll log in using the um, admin account. So what you're seeing on the screen is uh, the UI. Uh, uh, you can see that the R series appliance runs the uh, new F5 OS software. And um, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, the uh, network and system level settings on the F5 OS layer in the uh, upcoming uh, videos. You might recall that the last step in the appliance setup wizard mentions that appliance mode is enabled by default. Appliance mode is a security feature where all root and bash shell access is disabled. This means that a user will only be able to utilize the F5 OS CLI and not the bash shell access when appliance mode is enabled. You can enable or disable appliance mode at the F5 OS layer by navigating to the system settings general tab and then either enabling or disabling appliance mode. Here you can also configure the host name of the system and a message of the day banner which is displayed on login. So before we wrap up, a brief recap of the uh, content we covered in the first video in this series. We introduced the R series platforms and the F5 OS A software that runs on our R series appliances. We then were able to set IPv4 management uh, settings as well as configure DNS and NTP uh, using the setup wizard. We're able to verify that the settings were successfully committed uh, by logging into the R series appliance using the management um, IP address. We also introduced the uh, R series appliance UI. In the uh, upcoming videos, we'll talk a little bit more about the system and network level settings that you can configure at the F5 OS layer. We'll cover uh, backup and restore as well as upgrading software at the F5 OS layer. And finally, uh, we'll talk about TMOS tenants, specifically tenant sizing and deploying tenants on an R-Series appliance. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.